Hey everyone, Cordis here. Welcome to this video in which I will be talking about this product. So the grass tufts, if they want to focus, <laughs> voila. Uh, so the grass tufts, uh, I'm just going to talk a bit in general about the product. Uh, and then in the next step, I will show you how to apply this on a miniature and how to yeah just get a good looking base with these tufts. Um, first, I'm going to talk about yeah just a basically just gluing them down, but also in this step already some techniques on, on how to improve this. And then we're going to take this a step up, improving, improving a bit more. And basically, if you're really looking for uh, the kind of, of top end display quality, it's, it's, I'll show you this at the end of the video or the, the second part of the video, but uh, this is a showcase miniature, which won me some prizes in the past. Um, so if you're really going for these high end display bases, then you can also use these tufts smartly and I'm going to this is what I'm going to show you in the in this video so at the moment I'm preparing everything to finish up my base here of the black coach I recently finished so the only thing that's left is, is gluing on the grass tufts um, I'm doing this after varnishing the miniature um, you can do is before varnishing but sometimes yeah you get a bit unlucky and there's some of this yeah you you your your varnish it's not always the case but sometimes you can see it is a bit it it's a bit grainy or, or even a bit dusty and you can have this uh going on the fibers of the grass tufts and that's really something we don't want here so therefore I, i'm doing this after uh varnishing um, just for the durability of the material if you're going to play with it game with the miniatures is not really an issue if it's before or after varnishing also when gluing this down it's the it's the same thing so we're going to proceed i'm just going to one or attach one or two grass tufts uh, on this base so as you can see so we, then you are able to see how i how i tackle this uh, like i said it's one of my favorites so the as you can see i already used a lot of it um by the way one of these you can really uh you can you can do hundreds of miniatures with this if you do one or two uh, grass tufts on a miniature of course if you're going to create scenic bases or dioramas and stuff like that it's going to um, go a bit quicker with a uh, with a strip like this but for just your regular rank and file miniatures one of these strips can uh, you can go a long way uh, basing your army with so i'm just going to apply one or two of these tufts so we have the, the the tufts itself of course we have our miniature which is based and and um, varnished I have some paper towel here because we're going to use some super glue and then i'm going to use a pair of tweezers um, now this is a yeah let's say a bit of a higher end pair of tweezers uh, which is this one is bent and it's really fine tip and it really helps me to remove this from uh, from the sheet and then apply it but if you don't have this kind of tweezers i mean i spent i think that the first 10 years or 15 years in my modeling scale modeling it was back then scale modeling career I spent with um with a simple pair of tweezers i got from my mother's beauty case or something <laughs> i spent the first 10 10 years with that so um if you're really using the tweezers a lot and you want an upgrade for that then i can recommend uh, this kind with a really fine point and maybe also with a bit of a bend here but anyway just an old pair of tweezers will do um, so let's get started on this uh, how I proceed with this first of all um, is to bring some variation to the base is I'm not going to take off only the big ones as you can see I'm using up the entire sheet here as you can see this loops around so this is the actually this is the back side you're looking at but on this side as you can see I used up most of this um, and I'm using this in, to my advantage because I'm just just to randomize as much as possible. I'm just moving from this to there and then just taking the tufts that I, that I encountered. This is a bigger one. We have a very small one here. You can barely see it on the camera. This one um, here on the, of my finger just has some bit of grass. But if you're really going for the realism, it's okay to have that on there so a big one here two smaller here and also you notice the ones here on the sides you quite often get these i also use this but more where where the miniature allows me to do so so for example here in the back you can see the base has some, some stones with some straight edges i can use this um for that that kind of purpose so just moving along uh just and also on the base itself so this is the the these are the tufts that we're choosing but also on the base itself 
yeah just do it not everywhere in the middle but exactly the same amount of this and just randomize this and also do this yeah where it, it, it um, i will show you some examples after this but where it shows naturally so what i tend to do is i quite often put some some stones on my bases and by the way for the rest is it just based with sand and then painted but yeah it looks very great for example i'm going to put one here you see this this has a bit of room here uh, between the stones it would look great that i put a tuft there but also of course in the middle here and there but i usually tend to put them uh, alongside of these uh, these stones so um, when you are removing this from the from the sheet which i will do now with the it's going to do one here in the, like i said between the stones so i think this one is a good size for that Hold my tweezers like this then pull it off and sometimes yeah some others come come with that but just try to move it that you only have one it's okay to touch it with your fingers uh, but what i wanted to say is that there is some of this glue uh, left on the bottom now i know some people just put it on the base like that but that's not never going to be enough if you just put it down there i mean first tight side it will look okay but just always do this with some super glue and you don't need much just be sure you hold it like this and it's easier that you Corvus that you open the glue first and then see if there's some glue coming out there is okay so now we're all set now just taking it like this and just in the middle a small dab of glue was even a bit too much this is where I want it and just a regular rule with the super glue just press it in place what I do usually is, is this or use another dull object to, just to put it down a couple of seconds there there you go and then that was a good one also as you can see it looks yeah it looks fairly good there in the in the corner between the stones um so let's move on with a bigger one this one same deal just get it up there in one piece and this is a bigger one can somewhere here or here or here to break up this this is a bit of a larger area and here also I want some one here and one here so it's maybe a good good spot to put one of the bigger ones some glue don't have to be much just put it here and press it down like this so that's how you do it just remember to, to add some super glue um while uh attaching this and just just use use the product to your advantage how it's laid out just do it as random as possible or as natural as possible and of course the ones on the straight uh, side i'm probably going to use that that one here um oh, oh, anyway just i'm going to show you on camera so open the super glue again i'm going to take out the straight one here on the side Like this turn it around just see that you take it with your tweezers that you can immediately put it there some super glue was a bit too much but i'm going to put this here on the side we think it's good eh? there's no throwing away that piece that's a purpose so that's what i wanted to show you how, how to do this now how can we even improve on this i mean if you just take take into account just put it randomly and in a nat natural position like i um, like i said previously it is going to look pretty okay and also what i wanted to show you I have some uh some other miniatures here of the my night hound, night hounds army and just if you can see it just randomly putting down some some of these grass tufts i mean really makes your army look so much better i'm just going to put the light down uh, move the light down i mean um yeah it's going to really improve drastically improve the look of your army as you can see it's only one one or two grass tufts on each miniature um but really really 
uh, adds a lot of uh, value to the to the base now i'm going to show you in the next piece how you can even improve improve on this so we have our basics done we have the rank and file miniatures based with this now you can how can you improve improve on this so there are basically three levels let's say so the level let's consider this one level one level two level three um you're going to put this aside and, and do this step by step so i think the first level on improving this is is yeah mixing this with um with other types of uh of basing material um so i use some of this uh this regular basing uh basing material um at the moment <laughs> i'm filming i'm just forgetting the name but you you know what what this is this kind of foamy uh substance um that you can just put down next to the to the grass stuffs and just start mixing yeah just some some kind of create some kind of moss effect and there just then there's some grass growing out of there that's the kind of effect that i wanted to uh to achieve here so also very simply you can even do this on the rank and file miniature same deal after uh, varnishing just putting down this flock then now i remember the name just put the flock down or even first the the grass the grass stuff and then uh, just with some pva glue next to it glue, glue down some of this uh, this flock it really uh, makes it look pretty good another technique i'd like to use but this is more suited for uh, a display display pieces using, using some uh, pigments here so if you don't know, now this is another color that I'm going to show you, but this kind of stuff, sort of a Lego pigments, I'll also link this in the video description, uh, if I remember to do so. Um, but anyway, this is, if you don't know, this is just a powdery substance, which you can just put on your brush dry, and then put it down here. And what it does, it's not really very apparent, I, I like the red color that I show you uh, more, but what it does here is it really goes between those fibers and it creates this effect that there's some yeah some sand uh, really between the fibers of the grass and i think that looks really really great um, and also if you want if you're using pigments then you have some pigment fixer but uh, to be honest with you that i didn't try uh, pigment and then the pigment fixer in combination with the grass stuff so to be honest with that um, so this is a showcase miniature this is not varnished um, and does not have any pigment fixer on it but it has pigment so this is really on the edge of uh, putting it in your army or display quality um, but yeah just going to show you what it what is possible and then in the end um, this is a miniature i did i think it's almost 10 years ago now so back when i was doing some uh, more of the competition level of painting um, this is a miniature from enigma miniatures so I really went full option here on the base. This is an entirely sculpted base, also with a lot of uh, different kinds of, of tufts and flocks and, 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 and uh, flocking and um, rocks and, and uh, different kinds of basing material going on. There's this brick wall here. There's even some here on top of the wall, some natural uh, grasses that I used for basing, some smaller dried plants. Um, but this is really the the... To show you what kind of level you can can achieve with this product with some practice as you can see there's plenty of pigment going on here so you really get that uh dusty effect on uh, on the base but also between the roots uh, the roots of the fibers of this uh tufts i mean and this is a combination of flock and painted sand as i already said so yeah, it's really uh the top edge that you want to do this is not something you're going to put into uh into a rank and file army of course this is really the high end um the high end uh, display miniature stuff so that's all for this video hope it was useful if that's the case and please press the like button it really helps out the channel and the video um, and if you're not yet a subscriber then please consider becoming one by pressing the subscribe button also below um, and if you have some other techniques that I missed here or some other ways to improve on, uh, on grass tufts or basing in general, I'd like to hear them uh, in the comment section as well. That's all for this video. Hope you liked it. See you in the next one. Bye.